what it is on Go TV Boxing Night 21. No dull moment, a whole new experience, and you're gonna get the best of boxing around the continent of Africa. Welcome to Lagos. Welcome to Mobolaji Johnson indoor sports hall here at Yaba in the city of Lagos. Let's get into the ring and of course I get the first bout called out by the ring announcer Binga Adenika the first. Hello boxing fans from all over the world. You're welcome to the biggest boxing show in Africa. You're welcome to the 24th edition of the Go TV Boxing Night. The lockdown edition. All fights tonight are sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control President Dr. Rafiul Ladipo, Secretary General Remy Aboderi, Glove Master Oladi Babalola, Timekeeper Stitilokwe Ogukule, Prince Adeolofi, Ring Marshal Joe Lassisi, Treasurer Kaude Gomez, Ring Doctors Dr. Tajudin Sule, Dr. Chike Ilukwe, now to the very first fight for, of the night. It's a six round national lightweight challenge bout in the blue corner. Latif Ekins Jr. Akiola. I'm your host for today's name. We're coming by this name. We're your last 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 name. So making his way into the ring, it's a Lativa Akins Junior Akinola, and that's the young man making his debut in the world of professional boxing. Absolutely, he's a man we like to look out for. He's up against the bar elbow of Mortola, and. Uh, one way to start it off is to just take a look at some of the guys that uh, the Nigerian boxing uh, development scene has been throwing up, and that's what Go TV Boxing is all about. Most definitely. So this young man is not in a hurry to get into the ring. He's also known as Akins Jr. Latifa Kiola finally making his way into the ring. It is. And let's go in for the his opening to record into the ring. In the red corner, Alaba Elibo Amatola. Alaba Elibo Amatola is 29 years of age and has had a one bout so far in a world of a professional boxing. I'm sure that you will know the stuff that man is made up and won his only bout so far in his career. And uh, Ralph, we will all expect to see something a bit more. Uh, you know, he, he's already cut his teeth, unlike uh, uh, Akiola Jr., who is making his professional debut. And uh, he, he seems to be a bit more composed, unlike the other man who uh, is very much new to the world of professional boxing. And he's coming with a, a very legendary tune here talking about uh, nice and you know what it's all about street credibility does he have it uh, we'll find out uh, definitely elibo we'll find out how street credible he is let's get back into the ring official introduction of the two boxers in the blue corner waiting at 61.2 kilograms this is his first professional fight latif Ekins Junior Akiola. In the red corner, weighed in at sixty one point two kilograms. He has had one fight, one one. Alaba. Ali Bo Amatola Our judges are Shei George Femi Baba Femi Shegun Adesoya Referee Wahab Martins Where are your 15 seconds? Let him come 
Okay. How are you? Fine. My name is Abdulwahab Martins. I'll be the third man in your midst for this fight. I want a very clean fight. No use of the hellbook, no fisting. And when I say stop boxing, you stop. At the beginning of the first fight, you touch glove. And at the beginning of the last, you do the same. Your chief second has the right to throw in the towel. When any one of you is in danger, do have a great fight. So all the ceremonies are uh, done with. Check. Ring is uh, cleared for the two boxers to go at each other. Only the third man in the ring for this fight, of course, the referee will have Martins. Seconds out already for the first round of the first fight of Box TV Boxing Night 21. Right here at the Mobile Ajit Johnson in the Sports Hall. Here we are by in Lagos. Go TV 21 was earlier scheduled for April the 12th, uh, 2020, uh, but was cancelled because of the coronavirus pandemic. And everyone went into lockdown. So we're finally back. Everybody is excited that Boxing is back. Absolutely, Ralph. I'm so, so excited. We ca I can't wait to see this. And uh, to be honest, uh, this is the first global sports event back in Nigeria. You know, we're still battling with the Ni National Sports Festival, and we're hearing that it could come up in January, but this is on the record. Go TV Boxing Night. I will have first a couple of uh, global events already. I mean global. I mean global now. When I say global, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Your word of champion. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And so Eli Bao, clad in blue and black, and of course uh, his opponent, Lachit Akins and Kiola, clad in black and gold. Two boxers are taking it easy. It should be expected from uh, two, uh, two boxers that are highly inexperienced. Uh, only one has uh, uh, a one professional fight, and that's definitely uh, Alaba, Elbow, uh, uh, Omotola. So we wait to see. Uh, what happens in this one? Can uh, the young man who's making his debut uh, make it first time lucky? That's uh, Latif Akinola. Uh, uh, just uh, some uh, pitch patter, pitch uh, punches that uh, we've had so far. Nothing serious yet. Missed the uh, right hand there uh, from Elibo. Interestingly, I'm not so. Uh, I, I know it's just a few seconds into it. But I'm not so impressed with Elbow yet because he, he's, had, he's already had a, a, a feel of professional boxing. I expect him to take the fight, the young man, and probably try and intimidate him in the ring. But he seems to be taking his time. Maybe he just wants to uh, spend the first round, you know, assessing his opponent so that he doesn't get a sucker punch. I think that's what he's uh, doing at the moment. But he's going at his opponent now. Some uh, body punches there are uh, not quite effective. He made his debut against the Balogu Abdullahi. Uh, that's talking about Alaba, Motola, Elibao. He won that fight by a majority decision on December 28, 2019. And uh, since then, uh, this is his next fight. Elibao. Uh, we need to take a look at that big name. It means uh, make your early power, which means uh, he's a knockout specialist. <laughs> let's, let's look at it from that angle. Quite a bit of him. Uh, um, he is a product of the next gen surge. Uh, the one that the edition that was held in the lorry where he matched the best boxer you know at uh, that uh, next gen set that was uh, in august in 2019 uh, so, um end of the first uh, schedule six round bout and end of the first round gone by then second round uh, just for a bit of uh, i guess we're we're, we're, we're on the case if you ask me i, I didn't see anything uh, Ali Bao because I uh, saw one or two punches from him. Yeah, well, he yeah, did it. But then, did they as the aggressor, did they recriminate? As the aggressor, you gave the round to him. Okay, we went to see anyway. But, but uh, like you said, he's got a whole lot of stuff. You can see uh, some of that. That uh, uh, one missing. Well, it was um, that had uh, connected. Uh, that could have almost taken him down the way he, he went about that. So that was only the. Uh, Action of that uh, first round of fortune, yeah, and it actually came from the de debut time. Uh, so, the uh, oh, yeah. missed connection. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I think there's so much of so much showmanship between these guys, but they need to go out there. Let's see if they will come out fighting real good in the second round of Shadow Six. Box, and they got five. Box, the referee says. Oh, 
pass uh, some punches uh, to the midsection. Eli Bao now not taking any chances. He knows he can take this opponent out. I guess his, uh, his corners told him already. Well, he got hit there with a left hook from Latif. I hear it. Um, the fellow boxer screaming like Jue. That, I mean. <laughs> like Jue, that means to open up your eyes okay. beyond the lot. Ensure that you don't get caught by a sucker punch. By the way, this is uh, being torn under all the COVID-19 scrutinization. Everybody's Break. been, uh, it's, it's empty stands. We don't have the Buff. usual fans that from the venues of uh, Go TV Boxing Night. But this is the first experience of being done without fans. But you, but you know that, that, that there's, there's an advantage to this, right? Because you, you get to hear your trainers, uh, their instructions loud properly, and clear. loud and clear. So if you do not, you know, follow the instructions, then you have yourselves to play. You can't say it's the fans in the in arena. Of course, we all know that fans also help you a lot when they chant your name, when they do things like that, it inspires you from a very uh, difficult position to do well. So I guess this is where the trainers have to exploit the situation. And if I was starting around or the rider feisty note but this Break. uh going now down Break. in terms of uh, activity Box. two boxers uh, not quite uh, giving much now uh, eli bow the way he's built he's a very tall lanky fellow yeah interestingly he's uh just uh, 0 0.02 uh, kilograms heavier than his Break. opponent both of them are evenly matched uh latif 61 kg Box. and uh, Motola, who's the Eli Bao, is uh, 61 point top, top but still in boxing. That point two kilograms uh, should uh, be making some difference. Referee briefly stops uh, uh, that bout there. There's something, some sort of. Uh, I, I think it's the uh, tape that was used to tape the uh, the canvas of uh, Eli Bao uh, being stripped off there because it could actually become an accidental uh, case there. some kind of shadow boxing uh, uh, from Latif. He will be wondering if he's still tra on the training. I, 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 I need to say, I, th I think I'm impressed with Latif. Talking about Akins Jr. Should be landing. I mean, I mean, he's not landing, but he's not intimidating. I, I, I think it's just a matter of time. Maybe he's uh, bringing up some, some sort of strategy once he's uh, opening to train himself out. It goes beyond uh, just showing your footwork. I should have uh, all the all this stuff. <laughs> the hand should be doing Trying to business. learn some stuff from Mayweather there, but uh, he needs to also make his hands work. Top buffer. Largely inactive. Um, not quite uh, so much inactivity in that round, but all the same, Eli Bao started it uh, on a good note, and that's the second round for him. Absolutely. Uh, there's a whole lot of uh, stuff to look up for the, the, this night, 27th. Of November 2020, uh, year that has been dubbed the year of the COVID 19. We've got uh, the return of the man who was born to fight. Talking about all like Jide Fijabi. Uh, he's been out for two years. Uh, we'll see how much uh, he has uh, done in terms of uh, training. Yeah. Uh, coming into this fight against um, a Johnny man for me. Remember, there was a Johnny man called Andy Ruiz Jr. Never a Johnny man. But he wasn't doing any shot at the real fight. He <laughs> wasn't a Johnny man who was doing very well. I think I understand what you're saying. I think he was actually being ignored. Come on. So we're going into the third round of the Shadow Six. Buff. About starting as usual. That's the way he goes about all the, for the third round. Did that in the first round. <laughs> Now he's going a big one, a big body pointer there. Eli Bao chasing his man all around now, landing a few big body shots. Absolutely, Latif needs to do something. Uh, you, no matter how much we say that Eli Bao may not be collecting as much, there's still one right. two punches, you know, going through, Mark. getting the face. Latif needs to make the hands work. He's just uh, covering, blocking off his face. Yes, it's good enough on a defensive, but you need to be also on the offense. And he's not doing anything. And uh, the judges will not see him as being aggressive 
been trying to win this fight in any way. I think Eli has uh, just uh, come out with uh, his uh, the strategy he started the fight, the big body shots. He's not focusing on the upstairs, just going down there, trying to get a big body shot that might end it. If he gets one uh, to the rib cage, that might just uh, do it for Latif. Yeah, it does look like Latif is more of a defensive boxer than a boxer who tries to also uh, thrive on counter punching. You can see him there trying to do exactly that. You know, whenever he back out, he didn't yeah, land. He didn't land. And um, I would say Elibao should do a whole combination of body shots and uh, punching straight to the face. You can see just end it if he gets a big one. <laughs> Lati try to fight his way out of danger. Yeah, you see Lati bring right. up his uh, defensive boxing abilities right. there. You know, he, he's the kind of boxer Lost. that tries to suck in the opponent and then tries to get him on the inside. No, he's not doing anything for me, but that's a good one. Should have landed more. I think if Motala wants to take this early enough, he needs to get Latif in the corner. Get him in the corner. Load some very good combinations in there. Body punches and a combination of uh, the punches to the face straight away. And uh, he can try and see what he can do from that. I think the boxers have done a whole lot at the middle of the ring. We haven't seen we haven't seen the result of that. Nah, no, my cards might just do the damage for any right. bow. Box. You, you can't really blame Latif uh, to be honest. He's the green horn in the ring right now. He's the man who, whose reputation he feels I can't come out on losing my first back. So he's trying to be a bit over cautious. But uh, any bows this the professional boxing before I'll be just one of it, but he needs to come up and show Dominari exactly here. End of the third round of Shadow Six. Go TV Boxing Night, the very first bout of the night here. On a beautiful Friday evening in the city of Lagos. Just to uh, say a few things about the center, it's the Morphology Johnson Sports <laughs> Center here at the Tipple area in Yaba, Lagos. Some highlights are of the third round there. Eli Bao, you know, coming out straight, uh, but unfortunately not really getting the desired result. You could see pretty much looking like slaps rather than actually uh, punches there. And we're getting ready for the fourth round of the art. Uh, that's a beautiful, uh, quick uppercut there coming from Latif. Boxing back in Lagos and the World of Champions Super Sports. I go to be boxing for the first edition. This is the fourth round of Shadow Six. Wide swing there from Eli Bao. Ralph, I don't know. I, 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 I seem to be, yes, he's not done so much, but I seem to be a bit impressed with the team Akins Jr. I'm loving his uh, defensive uh, boxing abilities. Oftentimes, a lot of people uh, run down boxers who try to be the defensive boxer because they feel that they're not aggressive enough. They don't look like they want to take on the fight themselves. But the bottom line is they look for the openings of the aggressor and take advantage of them. It's not done that so far. I, I think all the, uh, the, the opponent only bow, leaves himself open and uh, he's not taking any advantage. I see lots of loophole in the boxing of Eli Bao Motola uh, that Latif has failed to capitalize on. And really, uh, he needs uh, to train real well. He needs a good trainer. I like his uh, build, but he needs to fight. Not just uh, trying to uh, some fancy footwork. He tries to be avoiding uh, punches. Uh, no, boxing is not just about avoiding uh, punches. That's just the first element of it. You need to also score points. A big cross from Eli Bao will end the fight, but he doesn't even have the firepower to uh, to deliver a big cross. I, I think Eli Bao is also still showing uh, some set, uh, elements of being a green horn as well. Bad punches, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could go in there, know that it's a risk, but you go in there, get the shot.
see the referee as he's standing there. Not much for him to do. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Just a uh, wide swing there coming from the Ekin Senior. Another wide swing coming from Eli Bao. But then, of course, it's a night of uh, absolute eight different bouts coming up. And uh, uh, there's some people who are delights when it comes to Go TV boxing night. We've got the likes of the, the real one, Orlando Smith. We've got the likes of uh, Babatunde, uh, Baby Face. You know, I always want to see Orlando Su fight. That young man that comes with lots of uh, volumes of uh, punches. I want to see him up against Moye. Last time he met Moye, you know, it was controversial. Yeah, uh, some of us thought uh, you Moye felt, won. You felt Moye won. Yeah, he did a whole that lot in that one. fight. So, so it's a good one that we're having that the a second, a second fight, the rematch now. So let's, let's, let's score the, let's to the score final. Let's settle it. Head of the fourth round, Shadow 6. Let's first bow to featuring the National Lightweight Challenge Contest. Latifa Ekins Akiola in the blue corner. And of course, Alaba Elibao Motola in the red corner. Some there. Let's take a look at some of the highlights at upper court and that body shot all coming from Eli Bao. He missed the upper court, a wide swing from Latif and that uh, hook uh, coming from Latif, a counter punch it was landing very well. Okay, so if I'm gonna say he's trying to play safe, I mean he's he's tried a lot, he's lasted almost five rounds. This is the penultimate round. Now it's time for us to see been, Latif. It's been one way. Out, Let's out, out. Latif, come up and fight. Okay, to the fifth round, the penultimate Bop. round. It's been a one-way traffic. Bop. Uh, give all the four rounds uh, going the way of uh, Labai Libao Motola so far. But it's not an explosive fight by any means. Once again, the usual thing we see, Eli Bao coming out very strong in the early uh, parts of the rounds. Uh, but let's see if you can follow it up this time around. There's so much energy, but there's nothing uh, to show for that. Uh, okay, he seems to be stepping up right now, but he's a bit uncoordinated talking about Ellen Bao. That's a good job coming from Latif there. Latif could do well if um, he has a good trainer that will take him. It um, comes up for me like a boxer that can really do um, all those uh, Jabs here and there, yeah. the fancy footwork and all that, and then big points. Uh, but here, yeah. but it's not, it's not being aggressive enough. Not at all. I mean, and every time he goes forward, you can see some progress. In it, but he doesn't seem to realize it. You know, and like you said, a good trainer will probably, you know, look at that beautiful jab he just put in there. But you know, it's not really, you know, sending the message across. I mean, you want to send jabs that, that takes your opponent backwards. As he's doing show putting. I hope he knows he's, he's most likely behind on the scorecard. Well, this is what books are that I total control do, but uh, this one is not in total control. So I'm wondering why his coaches are not telling him what to do. He should go there to sort of deliver the, the killer punch. Go for Brooke is what they say. Go for Brooke. And that's a beautiful one there coming from Elibao. Lovely left hook there catching uh, the side of uh, uh, Latif Aikens Jr. Because the only way he can win this fight is by knockout. If he gets a knockout, that's talking about Latif Aikens Jr. Akinola. See, you can see his corner, you know, saying it from here. Uh, we, we can hear the uh, Yoruba dialect saying Juwana, which means throw the punches. And, and they, they are almost as equally frustrated as we are here at the commentary. I can imagine it's been so many months of inactivity, so many months of training without a fight, so many months of being in lockdown. So he must expect it to show. But then we'll see if that will show in the later fight of the night. But this one, of course, is adjusted. Debutant and uh, one that has a fought once, once in the world of professional boxing. So you should expect uh, all these kinds. And this is what you call the appetizer. Hey, look at him. What's he doing? 
when you go for a three-course meal, and think he was caught below the belt there. It's lucky that even at that, one solid punch didn't land yeah, because didn't land the, the way crosses. he went about dodging and not covering his face. And that he did, but I like the, I like the referee. And that just came in at the below the belt. Just came in at the round, uh, the end of the round there, and you can see the uh, the referee there uh, warning uh, Eli Bao that uh, next time uh, he'll probably will get a points deduction from that. But you can't blame Eli Bao. I mean, you've come to fight, and then your opponent is just, you know, not just looking like he doesn't want to fight. He's just dancing around. I mean, he's, he's pretty much like he's listening to Zlatan or, or probably David O in the ring, right? There. I mean, you can see you can see from the highlights of, the, of of that round once again. I mean, that's where he got caught, and he was. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, he, he holds. Uh, it, he's been hit below the belt, but then he should have been more protective of himself. If that's but I don't, right I, don't, hand I, don't, I don't even think he was hit below the belt. I saw that punch coming in. And it didn't look like he was below the belt. And this young man is fucked out. So final round. Box. Our very first fight back. And I'm sure you're hoping in all the other bouts that don't go through the fire up to Come on, Ralph. Come on, man. Knockouts. We can't have this. When we've got the likes of Baba today, baby face, we've got the likes of real one, Alado. So, but the fights can't go this way. I can, I can bet that one fight that will definitely not last the distance is the Fijabon against the range in Bats fight. It won't go the distance. What if in Bats surprises you? That fight will not go the distance. <laughs> Yeah. That uh, you, you can okay, take, I'm it, mark, to, take I'm it to the bank. I mark that. I mark that down on my fight card. Final round of this first bout of uh, the evening. Go to be boxing night 21. Always uh, put together by Fly Kite Productions. That's in collaboration, of course. I would go TV, of course. Your World of Champions Super Sport. This is not looking like a final round of a bout. I mean, you said it earlier. It looks like Latif is he's fighting like he's he's got the points all locked up, and that he's just trying to avoid any yeah, kind of all around. I mean, he's the man who needs to score the points. He needs a knockout to win. I wonder what his corners are. His corner, corner are telling him. If you look around, you will see it. Uh, the corner of Eli Bao have been very busy. And the other corner of Latif. Their voices not being heard. That's a good job there coming from Eli Bao. Left jab, but it wasn't strong enough. But it was a good one there. And then Eli Bao still trying to take things out. We, we, we must give Eli Bao a whole lot of uh, kudos. I mean, he knows he's probably leading. But he just missed another left uh, Hook there, but he's he's the aggressor and he's keeping up on the game. Even though he seems to be leading on the scorecard of the judges. What is Latif doing? Just he uh, should be fighting. I told you earlier, it does feel like we're listening to Zlatan. In all the bouts, I've just seen him scratch the face of his opponent just once. No, no danger at all. To Not at all. No danger at all. Good stop there. What's it? Yeah. Beautiful one there, uh, coming from the right uh, hook. Oh, oh he's not following up. He just um, we need. To, yeah, uh, is, it, is it as a result of the fact that he's still a greenhorn as well? I mean, his opponent is there for him to take. He is really allowing uh, Latif Akins Jr. to uh, dance away from this. Uh, I, I said it earlier. The best bet for him is. Pick him up Stop. in the corner and take him out. Maybe. End of the bout, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all across the continent of Africa. This one, over six rounds, a national Sorry. lightweight challenge contest between Latif Aikens, Akinola, and Laba Elibao Motola. It's come to an end. Uh, take a look at uh, what transpired in that uh, very last round, the sixth and final round of that bout. And then Latif didn't show much in that round. He seems to be so comfortable that uh, he has won the fight. Uh, but I'm sure he never won any round of the six.
man uh, should be declared a winner any moment from now, uh, from what I saw in the fight. Well, these two fighters, they need to go back to the drawing board. And they do a whole lot in training. Alaba Elibao Motola is 29 and uh, just having his second professional fight at the age of 29. Uh, that's a bit late for me, uh, but then of course some people are late bloomers. And they they do come up. Uh, I remember Mr. Cezeli, uh the Nigerian NBA star, saying that he actually got involved in basketball at 16. Uh, for me, that's late blooming, but he definitely made it up to the NBA. So sometimes it's not this man how far? 29 and only his second professional fight. How far can he go? Of course, we know he's not going to have a lot of fights under his belt. Let's go into the ring and get the official decision of the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after six wonderful rounds of boxing, we have a decision. George Latif Akins scores it. 54-60. George. Second George scores it 58-56. Third George scores it. 54-60, winner by unanimous decision, Alaba, Alabo Omotola. So unanimous decision is the right decision for me.